Hello everyone, welcome back to Art of Homemaking. If you are a new viewer, watch part 1 of the time saving tips video, one of the quite popular video in my channel. And I made this particular video focus on working women, busy stay at home moms, new moms who cannot spend much time in the kitchen to eat healthy and feed healthy food to the family. All the ideas I am going to show here are healthier options and I am not showing anything like pre-chopped veggies, pre-cut veggies or pre-cooked onion and tomato gravies. And if you are a new viewer and looking for more meal, meal prep and time saving kitchen ideas, subscribe to my channel and tap notification bell started. to receive updates How of each and every video. without much knitting. And I, I recently came across this autolysis method of making rotis and it is very easy to make uh, soft rotis with minimal kneading. And the science behind this method is making soft rotis by activating the gluten in whole wheat flour. So for this uh, I took one cup of roti flour and half cup of water. Uh, you, you may need much water uh, if you are using multigrain flour. You can add one teaspoon of oil if required and some salt and mix atta and water with a fork or with a spoon roughly to get the above consistency and close it with a lid and leave it untouched for half an hour exactly and after exactly half an hour knead it for two to three minutes and you will be surprised to get a very soft dough without much kneading. And these rotis stay soft for long. You can pack them for lunch box or you can make it in the evening and eat, make it in the afternoon and eat in the evening. They are still super soft. How to cook pasta super fast? If you are cooking pasta in the traditional way, you have to wait until the water to boil and after that you have to add pasta again and it takes around 15 to 20 minutes instead try cooking pasta in a pressure cooker it only takes four to five minutes for the whole process so for this add water and pasta in a pressure cooker and put it on high flame and when your cooker is about to whistle turn off the turn off stove to low flame and switch off the stove after 1-2 minutes on low flame. It's a bit tricky and the time depends on the pressure cooker, uh, the size of the pressure cooker you use, and the thickness of pasta you are using and after 1-2 one, one to two attempts and you master in this skill. And you can even cook Hakka noodles in the pressure cooker. Next tip is a quick uh, meal prep tip instead of chopping green chilies every day for your cooking try chopping uh, green chilies in bulk and keep it in sunlight for 30 minutes until all the uh, moisture dries up and keep it in an airtight container and store it in the refrigerator and no more burning hands every day you can uh, store up to one week in the refrigerator and you next tip is using immersion blender or hand blender for making uh, puree and gravies so uh, stick a uh, hand blender into directly into the pot of gravy and you'll have smooth uh, gravy in seconds and there is no need to transfer hot uh, hot gravy from the pot to the conventional blender and and back again uh, to the and back again to the saucepan and this makes uh, less mess and uh, and you use less container and clean up after that is so much easier and fifth time saving tip is instant idli mix for this i am taking uh, one cup of urad dal and i am uh, I'm going to roast this and before that I am uh, washing the urad dal and this step is completely optional. You can uh, dry roast urad dal without uh, washing but if you are planning to wash the urad dal uh, quickly after uh, strain off the water and quickly transfer uh, urad dal to the tawa and uh, dry roast it on high flame for 2 to 3 minutes so that uh, Uradal doesn't absorb the water and all the moisture dries up. So in the last video I have uh, shown um, how to freeze uh, idli dosa batter and this is another variation. 
and roast it until all the water dries up. Our dal is roasted and uh, now I am adding half cup of poha and one teaspoon of fenugreek seeds or methi seeds and roasting it for some time. Once they all are completely roasted, I will take some idli rava and roast it for some time. So I am taking a for one cup of urad dal, I am taking two cups of idli rava. You can also take two and half cups and roast it for some time. And transfer all the ingredients except idli rava uh, to a blender and make it a fine powder. And mix all the ingredients now and add this urad dal powder the idli rava and mix all the ingredients add some salt and store it in an airtight container it stays fresh up to three months and if you want to make it in bulk and store it for more you can uh, keep it in the refrigerator there are two methods of making idlis with this flour instant flour and uh, to this flour add some water until you get the idli batter consistency and leave it overnight and next day make idlis uh, like as usual how do you how do you normally make idlis and if you want to make instant idlis without soaking for one cup of uh, this instant flour add one fourth cup of curd and some water and mix it until you get idli consistency and leave it for 10 to 15 minutes and you can make idlis as usual next time you have sudden guests in the house you don't have to worry about fast or if you are sick you don't have to eat outside with the help of your family members you can make this instant idlis very easily tip number six papad to keep your papad stay fresh for long time keep it in sunlight before frying so while frying it Frying it absorbs less oil and it also fry, fries way faster than usual. Tip number 7 Instant Chutney This chutney is super delicious and very easy to make and it requires 4 minimal ingredients. So for this you need 1 cup uh, green chilies 4 to 5 and 1 cup of split uh, moong dal or dahlia and half cup of dry coconut here i am using desiccated coconut you can also use fresh coconut or shredded frozen coconut and some cumin seeds just blend it everything using some water and add salt to it that's it your instant chutney is ready it is super delicious and it has much lower calories when compared to the peanut chutney and this chutney doesn't even need a tadka it tastes great without you don't have to roast anything and it goes very well with any breakfast item this is one of my daughter's favorite chutney tip number eight tamarind rice mix instant curry you might be wondering by now what's new in this everybody knows about tamarind rice mix but i'm going to tell you how to make instant curry with it so for this you need green chilies, cumin seeds and mustard seeds, red chilies, tadka ingredients, urad dal, chana dal, uh, peanuts, curry leaves, turmeric, salt, some, uh, some green red chilies powder and uh, peppercorns. I am sharing this recipe for the beginners. Uh, but still you can watch if you know how to make uh, this tamarind rice mix but still you can watch my version of it you also need some oil around 10 tablespoons of oil and uh, tamarind puree this is uh, cooked tamarind puree i'm going to share this recipe in the later part of the video and uh, in a tawa add oil and when the oil is hot add all the tadka ingredients i have shown before start adding one after another um, and now i have added cumin seeds and mustard seeds 
and after that i'm going to add green chilies and red chilies and curry leaves and all the dal dal urad dal chana dal and uh, peanuts and fry it for some time roast it on low flame because urad dal roast very fast and for peanuts it takes some time to roast after that i am adding 2 to 3 spoons of turmeric powder and 1 spoon of red chili powder and ground pepper powder and and some hing we are going to add tamarind paste in it tamarind acts as a natural uh, preservative and it stays fresh for 15 to 20 days and if you have kids uh, staying in hostel you can pack them this and after that i have added uh, tamarind puree to it and add some uh, water and uh, cook it for some time and it is almost ready and i'm going to how to make instant curry using this uh, mixture so here i'm using sweet potato to make instant curry but potatoes and plantains taste awesome uh, using this method so just bake a sweet potato in the microwave oven or in a stove top for 1 to 2 minutes you can also use uh, cauliflower broccoli cabbage so just steam the veggies uh, using a microwave oven or on the stove top and just mix a uh, uh, small amount of this mixture to, to your veggies so here i am uh, showing how to make tamarind rice using this mixture i took some rice and mixed the mixed it well and it instant rice is ready and at the same time you can also use the same mixture to make instant curries so if you after coming from work it takes only 2 minutes uh, to make this instant curry if you have some time uh, saute some onions in the oil and mix this instant curry to it it tastes awesome and you can use any of which any vegetables of your choice except tomato if um, uh, tomatoes you can use uh, salad tomatoes but if the tomato is too sour uh, it becomes uh, curry becomes even uh, sour because of the tamarind paste bottle gourd ridge gourd can also be used in this method if if you are using bitter gourd add some uh, jaggery to this and it tastes awesome this method is very helpful for working women bachelors so sometimes even we don't have time to steam veggies also that time you can simply use rice cracked wheat oats quinoa in you can mix this gravy with any of the grains it tastes awesome because of the tamarind it tastes awesome and it has good shelf life you can uh, store up to 20 days and if you want to make bulk and uh, store it for a long time keep it in the refrigerator next one is a um, quick time saving uh, meal prep tip uh, you don't have to peel and chop garlic every day for you uh, for making curries just peel all the garlic and chop them into small cubes or whatever size you are using and store it in an airtight container and uh, keep it in the refrigerator so then the downside of this tip is uh, you have to use a very good airtight container or your garlic uh, smells bad your entire fridge uh, smells garlic and the next tip is how to cook idlis very fast in general idlis take around 20 to 40 minutes to cook so this tip helps to uh, to cut 50 percent of the cooking time of the idlis so instead of cooking in the traditional way cook idlis in pressure cooker adding some water in the bottom of the uh, pan and place your mouths in it and at the starting you have to uh, put it on very low flame once uh, like after five minutes uh, you can just increase uh, high up the flame to medium to high and cook it for five more minutes and your idlis will be done 
this tip needs some practice like pasta tip but if you try two three times uh, you will get to know better it again depends upon the size of the cooker you use and how on the idlis how many idlis you are making and everything matters if you try uh, and you can and next next tip is also a meal uh, meal prep time saving prep idea uh, how to make uh, tamarind paste in bulk and how to store it so many of you may know this tip and i'm sharing this uh, tip for the beginners i have uh, soaked tamarind by adding some water overnight and now i am transferring this to a uh, tawa and uh, cook it for some time by adding some water so the one i took here is uh, without uh, pits or uh, seeds uh, and uh, if you see seeds you have to remove the seeds and then uh, cook it and cover it with a lid and cook it for uh, 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes on a very low flame and when once it is uh, cool down just uh, blend it everything and uh, make it to a fine paste and store it in the refrigerator you can use this um, gravy in any of your curries or, or to make tamarind rice i have added salt um, in this i forgot to shoot that so tamarind and salt are natural preservatives and it uh, it, it has good shelf life uh, and if you want to preserve the color of the tamarind store it in the refrigerator or you can keep it outside it stays good for long time and the last one is instant uh, sweet mix many of king moms uh, feel guilty about not providing healthy snacks to their kids because of the time constraint i know how it will be i have been in the situation before so i am going to tell you instant uh, sweet mix you can make it in 2 minutes and it's very healthy and uh, tasty so for this i took 1 cup of urad dal and 1/4 uh, cup of rice and i have washed it and dry roasting it on tawa on very very low flame for some time so like i said before uh, washing this uh, wa washing the dal is completely optional you can uh, skip it and once they are uh, done i took i transferred it to another bowl and um, now i took uh, one 1/4 uh, to half cup of uh, cup of uh, desiccated coconut or dry coconut powder if uh, you can use uh, dry coconut pieces also but you can you have to grind them and i have roasted that as well and after that i took some um, around uh, half cup to 1/4 cup of uh, ragi flour and i am dry roasting it without adding any ghee here you can also take uh, oats or sesame seeds or ground nuts and finally i am adding some ilachi powder to it transfer it to a blender jar and uh, blend all the ingredients except uh, ragi flour and make it to a fine paste and uh, mix it uh, everything and uh, um, it's the time to add jaggery or sugar to it i took around 2 cups of uh, powdered jag jaggery you can also take um, uh, sugar or uh, brown sugar ragi flour urad dal and jaggery and ghee combination are very good for growing children it builds muscles and um, make them strong once everything is cooled down transfer it to an air tight container and uh, store it whenever your husband or kid are ask for a dessert uh, just mix some hot ghee in this powder and uh, make laddus out of it it's very easy to make uh, laddus and very good high high energy snack for for uh, for the kids after school snack or any time of the day for the entire members of the family they are super delicious and uh, very easy to make you don't have to turn the stove on to make uh, this dessert it you can make this in just 1 to 2 minutes and everyone in your family will love it so friends these are some of the ideas and if you are looking for more more time saving meal planning ideas subscribe to my channel and if you like these ideas please give a big thumbs up and share this to your friends and family and don't forget to comment and leave your valuable suggestions in the comment section and see you soon with a new video thanks for watching take care bye bye